Hello, let's continue from the previous um, episode of the World Health Organization classification system um, that was defining the manic episode. Okay, some people also have physical symptoms such as this page 135 of my book. They have physical symptoms such as sweating, pacing, and weight loss. Because you know, when they get into that state, they have elevated, abnormally elevated energies. So they do all this hyper walking around and doing stuff. And in that area, they tend to lose appetite. When they lose appetite, they lose weight. And that is the reason why they are talking about the symptoms here, that they lose weight. Because they do a lot of pacing. It's like exercising, but they are in their manic space, uh, state. So they walk up and down, pace, sweat, and then lose weight because they don't eat, they don't have the appetite to eat. So in full-blown mania, often the person um, will feel as though his or her goal, Trump, or else, that there are no consequences or that negative consequences will be minimal and that they need to not to exercise restraint in the pursuit of what they are after. So hypomania is different as, as it may cause little or no impairment in function so it is it's a very um it's a very um difficult sort of um situation that we are in right now what, what i'm going to do right now i will i'll cut on the hypo uh, mania and the mania because I intend treating the anxiety disorders, but it looks as if we are um, pushing into a different sector. But I want us to be very alert in our anxiety disorders um, discussion so that it's going to be relevant in this COVID 19 um, era because. When this disease started, I think after, um, before 2019 ending, um, we started hearing of the pandemic in Wuhan and in a spread of about some few weeks, it spread globally and it was all over the news. And as a matter of fact, I decided to treat the anxiety disorder due to the COVID-19. And what hits us the most was the quarantine. Everything was on lockdown. The whole city was shut down. Every city was shut down. Everybody was at home. People um, lost their jobs and um, there were economic consequences. And most of the factories, most of the manufacturing factories, most of the other industries were all locked down, were all shut down. So um, we plunged into a global recession, which um, hasn't been really um, talked about, but obviously when a whole country is on lockdown and global shutdown, it means we have an automatic recession all over the world and that recession really um, had negative impact on every society around the world and when the disease started killing people it also also got people worried so we intend to treat COVID-19 quarantine with related mental health issues because already people are going through stress in their daily 
lives. And then we are being hit by, by this pandemic from nowhere. And we have all these, um, all these different parodies of um, theories that are, they call it, they call it, um, the, there's a name, there's a name for it. Is um, when when I remember, I'm going to come out with it. But everybody is coming out with their own theory and hypothesis um, that is developed in Wuhan, is developed in America, is developed here, is developed there. Nobody knows what is happening, and people were coming out with assertions that because of the 5G, we are being hit because the 5G obviously emits negative radioactive um, waves that suppresses the immune system, that breaks down our immune system. So obviously if your immune system is not as good, you can contract COVID-19 because you need to have a very good immune system. Even when the COVID-19 hits you, your immune system has to be very strong to fight it and so far um, there are medications out there that hydroxy chloroquine are the medication that people are saying is effective that a whole number of people have been using that have saved lives and people are also saying the world of organizations come out coming out with the vaccines and all that so you know scary times um, calls for discussions like this. So that's why I picked up all the topics of anxiety disorders, trying to elaborate on the categories and classifications, the treatments and the whatnots of um, anxiety disorders, how we manage our daily anxieties for it to become clinical and for us to get professional support and help. So we have all these things hanging on our shoulders, on our backs, all the demons on our backs that we need to solve. And at the moment, um, as the borders have been opened, as the borders is open, people that are traveling need to take precautions because um, I just wanna um, stop going deeper into um, other areas because we decided to talk only about the anxiety disorders so I need to just stop at this point and then maybe we will look into um, this which is discovering the unique child we can do it um, it's about it's a manual on how we can take care of our young kids or children in the house is a manual that can help us. So I think we will start um, discussing some of the issues and some of the relevant areas that can help us to um, to nurture and bring out the star and the potential of our kids. And I have explosive secrets here as well from Marie. Um, you can have a copy, purchase your copy from Amazon. And um, I've got Mary C's books also here. That is a student entrepreneur. And you can also purchase from Amazon. And I have my books as well that you can also purchase from Amazon. I've got The Essence of Child Development, and Mental Health, the um, Discovering the Unique Child, and uh, in an investigation into the van advertisement. So grab your copy and make it useful to you and your family. So as I was saying, this COVID-19 has really put families at risk. Some families has lost their lives and some families are going through bereavement so as, as a matter of fact, we needed to discuss anxieties so that we can support each other in this perilous times.
and as a matter of fact we have to also support each other as family members or as member of the community or society to make sure that we comply with the contingency um, government containment strategies that will help us curb and alleviate the symptoms and the spread of this deadly disease. And we've been told that you have to um, wear your mask, you have to wash your hands, you have to be very diligent in, 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 in pursuing all that. So